Hello everybody, I have not been putting videos up lately. I wanted to run by you guys. A lot of you guys probably didn't know that me and my hubby were trying for a third baby and we've been trying for a few months now. Um, so February 1st, I conceived. Um, I had a heavy chest and a dizzy faint, so I went to the ER um, February 8th, a week later, I miscarried, or so I thought, and four days later, I had a seizure at 7 a.m., put my teeth through my lip, went to the ER to get internal and external stitches. And then one day later, you know, we tried because it was like they said once once the miscarriage is through and my levels are to zero, we can try again. Um, so we tried again. My period was due on the 15th. Period never came. And I also had like pinching in the ovaries, mainly my right one the worst, but pinching in the ovaries and I was like ooh I don't know what that is I well when on the 8th whenever I miscarriage I was informed I was miss oh, I should have put the ER down here went to the ER found out my sciatic nerve was pinched from my L4 and S1 along with I was miscarrying um, then the 16th, which would have been yesterday or the day before, I had sciatic nerve pain. My right leg was going numb again. I had a extremely sharp vaginal and rectal pain with the It felt like a knife was being jabbed in both holes. It was horrible. Um, my cramps were severe. My low back was severe. And I'm just sciatic pain leading to my right cramping was a little was a little off the edge for me. It got so bad yesterday that I it got bad the day before, but I slept through it to the next day and it was so still really bad and kept getting worse. So I decided to go to the ER. <clears throat> I called ABC Women's Care and they told me, this sounds like an ectopic pregnancy, aka tubal. Um, went to the ER at noon yesterday. By 5 p.m., after an ultrasound, blood test here, my baby levels, my HCG levels, a week and a half ago were 400. They went, in two days they went down to 161. Yesterday they were back at 300. So fluttering beta levels. And um, they got everything put together. Around 5 o'clock they figured out, okay, yes, you're having an ectopic pregnancy, a tubal pregnancy. Here it was on my right side. They tried to give me met methotrexate. No, no, no. I'm an epileptic. I have epilepsy. I have seizures. And... ABC Women's Care is just an average OB. <clears throat> so I'm like, wait, methotrexate can induce tonic-clonic seizures. I have my seizures semi-controlled. And there's horror stories of taking methotrexate. Let me back up. Methotrexate, they want me to take it once or twice to dissolve the baby out of my tube. They said I fit that small criteria. Well, I mentioned I was epileptic. Oh, it wouldn't be a high enough dose to make your seizures come back. Personally, me, anything that induces seizures is not safe. So, I, you know, I had my sister come in, which is, she's a big naturalist. So, um, she's a big naturalist, so she also did some research on it. And... There's people that have actually were epileptic, had their seizures controlled or stopped, did methotrexate for a tubal pregnancy, and one lady, her seizures came back 10 times worse. 
another lady went into a full-blown seizure and stayed in a seizure until they decided to pull the cords. Um, rest her heart. I'm not taking that chance. So I had to go the rough route. I said, what's my other options? They said, you can go home and pray to God, or you can go and do surgery and have that tube removed. I picked two to have the tube removed. <clears throat> Here, once they did the tube removal, they're like, oh, good thing you did pick that and not methotrexate because your, what they call is a mass. They don't want to call it a baby because they don't want anyone getting attached. The baby was too big to do a methotrexate. Um, methotrexate in a lot of ways is like a uh, chemotherapy, only it's in a shot, it goes and it kills regrowing cells, so it makes sure the baby's killed, but the body is full of regrowing cells, so they inform me it would affect my liver, my kidneys, anything that had re-emerging, regrowing cells, it would affect. No thank you, I'll just have them cut that tube out. Um, so, round five, they're like, okay, we're going to send you into emergency surgery. They said, you'll have to wait till seven. We'll have someone in here talking to you about it. I got emotional. I was what my sister calls hangry, hungry and angry. <laughs> um, and on top of that, I just was so scared. I get afraid of anesthesia because when you have epilepsy and you seizure, it takes you days to get back in your mind wave of things. So whenever you're being knocked out in three seconds by medication in your body through an IV, and then you're waking up, oh, yeah, that stuff scares you. You don't want to have it with your seizures, let alone with induced anesthesia. <sighs> Still do that. They ended up taking me in early last night at six into emergency surgery. Um, they did take my right tube and after the surgery they said, good thing we chose surgery. You were too far along for methotrexate. So that would have been dangerous. I'm probably going to call the OB or call McGee's from here on out for all that stuff. <laughs> That's why I look horrible right now. So I wanted to run those dates by you. Now my sister had a tubal and hers, she kept going to the ER, this was years ago. Kept going to the ER and they kept saying miscarriage, miscarriage, miscarriage. Hers ruptured. And even the doctors will say that a rupturing tube can be fatal if not correctly caught. So I'm gonna show you guys my wounds. Caution, caution, caution. I have underwear on, I promise. Um, let me lower you guys. They go in with a three, they go in three holes. They go in here, here, and through the belly button. They fill you with gas so you lift up and they can see what they're doing. Uh, I have, I have yet to get a shower. Oh, I have really bad pulling here. Um, they took my right, my right tube. Um, I will be getting a shower, but oh, the camera makes this look good compared to what it feels and looks. But they glued everything, I believe so, because there's no staples or stitches. <sighs> but so what it looks like from there is really oh it does not feel good I'll tell you what these pains that I experienced with it was horrible I'm going to get a shower I will see you guys later thank you for watching and keep updated. Check out Sina's vlog fan page on Facebook. Bye.